Begin by finding a position of your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's seated in a chair or a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Allow your body to become comfortable. And really settle into that comfort. Noticing that your body is supported by the ground. That you can settle into that support and that that's comfortable. This is a subtle form of pleasure that we often don't notice, but it's available to us. We can make our bodies comfortable and enjoy that comfort. So take a moment to do that. From here, allow your body to relax. Briefly scan your body for any tension that might be present at this time, perhaps in the jaws, face, the neck, the shoulders, the arms, the legs, the feet. If you find muscular tension anywhere in your body, see if you can invite that tension to relax. To loosen. This may or may not be possible. See if you can try. Try to relax. Relax any muscles that might be tight or tense at this time. And again, enjoy that relaxation. Enjoy the pleasure that comes with relaxing your muscles. If you'd like, at this time, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. Simply by smiling. Our nervous system moves towards being happier. We can encourage that process by bringing a gentle, easy smile to our face and maintaining that smile for the practice period. Totally optional. Just like everything in the metta meditation, feel free to make any adjustments that you like. If it feels good to you, smile and maintain that smile.
And again, if there's any enjoyment that comes with smiling, even just a little bit, notice that and really enjoy it. Even if the amount of pleasure is small, if you increase the quality of your attention to that pleasure, it magnifies the pleasure that you experience. We want to take advantage of that in our practice. So any enjoyment or pleasure or happiness of any kind, even the smallest amount, Notice it and really enjoy it. From here, take a moment to consider one or more things in your life that you can be grateful for. that you have this opportunity to practice loving kindness meditation for the friends and family in your life, for the food that you had to eat today, for the air that you're breathing, anything at all. Reflect on one or more things that you can feel grateful for in your life. Again, if reflecting on these things brings up a felt sense of gratitude, notice that and really enjoy it. Delight in it, even if it's small. Continue to reflect on things in your life that you can be grateful for for another moment.
Very good. Now, consider someone that's easy for you to love. Could be a young child in your life or a pet that you love, a close friend or family member. Could even be someone imaginary, just imagining a puppy or a kitten or a small child, for example. Consider someone that's relatively easy for you to feel love for. See this person in your mind. Visualize them using your imagination. Perhaps at a time when the two of you were happy together, or this person was laughing or smiling, or simply enjoying being alive. Doesn't have to be one steady image, can be a series of images or a whole scene. Use your imagination to visualize this person being happy. Notice how your body responds to this activity. If there's any felt sense of joy or love or happiness, care for this person, well-wishing. Notice that and savor it. Soak it up. Simply by imagining this person, you can Feel love. So notice that and enjoy it. Remember it. Knowing that you can always come back here. Just bringing this person to mind can give you a felt sense of happiness. What a gift. If you're finding that visual imagination is really resonating for you. If it brings up these feelings of love and happiness, feel free to stay with that, make use of that. If on the other hand, you're finding that it doesn't seem to resonate for you or you're not enjoying it, you can switch to using phrases in your mind, mental talk saying a phrase like, may you be happy, or I love you so much, or any phrase that you like really, doesn't matter so much. The most important thing is to cultivate an attitude of love and well-wishing towards this easy to love person or animal, regardless of how you do it. Feel free to experiment and find what works for you.
continue to cultivate an attitude of love and care while wishing for this easy to love person or animal for another moment. In the back of your mind, make a mental note of what's worked for you. Exactly how you cultivated this attitude of love. Maybe it was using your mental imagination. Maybe it was mental talk. Maybe you could just feel into a felt sense of love. Maybe it was a combination of these things. And if none of those things seem to work, you can always try a different one. But if something seems to be working, notice that and see if you can use the same strategy as we transition into directing love towards plants for this practice period. Is it possible to cultivate love in the same way for plants? Very good. To begin, recall or imagine a time that you felt connected to nature. Perhaps a walk in the park or a hike in the woods or harvesting food on a farm. flying over a beautiful scene, anything at all. Recall a time that you felt connected to nature. Time when it felt easy to love nature, our planet. Remember what that was like for you. Or if you can't remember a time, imagine it. What could you see visually in this memory or this imagined scene? Perhaps there were trees or bushes, flowers. Call what plants might have been in the sea. As you do that, see if you can notice a connection between the happiness or delight that you recall feeling in nature and an attitude of well-wishing for the natural world, for the plant life. Nature brings us such joy and delight Can you wish these plants well? 
so that we may continue to delight in them. Cultivate an attitude of love and care and well-wishing for the plants and natural scene that you're recalling or imagining. this is resonating for you, feel free to stay with this. If you'd like, I'm going to name a series of plants. You can cultivate the same attitude of love and well-wishing for these plants that I'm naming or any other plants that you like perhaps using the same strategies that worked for you before. So I'll just say the names of these plants and at your own speed, you can cultivate love for these plants. Oak trees. Redwoods. Dandelions. Roses. Lilies. Pines. Ferns. Willow trees.
más. Mushrooms. Seaweed. Continue to cultivate an attitude of love and care for the beautiful plants on this planet for another moment. Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you learn or discover anything new? Were there any challenges? Take a moment to reflect and consider. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 